I'd like to talk to my middle schoolers and my high schoolers for just a moment. Looking at a poster in my office, it's a Marvel poster. It has almost all the characters in the Marvel Universe. I was looking for Black Panther. I'm sure he's in there somewhere between all the different characters uh, as you look left to right and several rows deep, but I'm having trouble finding him. This poster is from 2007, and so I'm sure if this was made today, uh, the character would have much more prominence, be much more in the front two rows maybe. Uh, given the popularity of the fun movie from just two years ago called Black Panther. What made me think of it is that just this past Friday, the actor that played Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, died. He passed away from stage three and stage four colon cancer. And it's all over social media. It's hard to miss. Uh, it's in the news, it's on websites, uh, anywhere where there's comic book anything, uh, it's the news for sure. And it was surprising, he's not very old. In fact, he's just a few months older than I am, we're the same age basically. And so it was pretty shocking, pretty sad, in fact, to hear that he had passed. And it was interesting to me as I started to look, as I started to dig into different news articles and websites and different things that were posted on social media, tweets from other actors and fellow colleagues and different blurbs on Instagram and other places, even different tribute movies that were released by either fans or one more recently from Marvel Studios, the different perspectives of what people focused on, what they highlight or what they choose to hold up in the forefront. Chad Bozeman's character, King T'Challa, was first introduced in the Marvel blockbuster, uh, in the cinematic universe rather, at least in 2016's Captain America Civil War. And it was that movie where Bozeman coined the phrase and the motion where he would hold his fists across his chest like this and say the popular phrase, Wakanda forever. And so you'll see a lot of the photos of him in that pose. Secretly, Bozeman's been battling stage three colon cancer for almost four years now. And so during that role and others, uh, all the while, he has this huge personal battle. But you could never tell. You could never tell. It was never prominent uh, or out in the forefront or even well known at all. What gave him hope, what let him continue on with such assurance, such magnetism. I was curious what let him continue on with such confidence, such confidence in the face of something so trying that he would accomplish uh, what would be considered the pinnacle of his career during that time. Some of the articles I read talked about his faith. It talked about his upbringing as part of a member of the Welfare Baptist Church, singing in the church choir and producing plays and always having uh, a mindset and a heart to be serving others. All the way back to high school, working with the youth group, always doing something, always helping out, always serving. His pastor his former pastor, Samuel Neely, would say, always helping out, always serving. That was his personality. The more I read, it would show that he would go on to quote Ephesians 3.20 for Denzel Washington, another prominent actor at the AFI Lifetime Achievement Awards in 2019. Or he would even talk about Jeremiah 29.11 at the Howard University commencement speech in 2018 and most recently a final text to fellow actor Josh Gad who played Olaf in Frozen 
where he, where Bozeman would encourage his friend to catch the rain, appreciate every moment, enjoy the simplicity of God's creation, to inhale and exhale in this moment, and remember to thank God for the unique beauties and wonders of that day. The most recent thing I saw was Chris Evans, fellow Avenger actor, retweeted a movie montage, a tribute video that Marvel Studios put out on behalf of the actor in honor of the late Chadwick Boseman. And in it's a montage of different clips that really just bring out the warmth of his personality, the encouragement uh, he was to anyone that was around him. There's some clips of him even speaking in there and speaking of the importance of sharing hope. 5.7 million views in the last 24 hours alone at the time of this recording from August 30th to September 1st. That's so many people. And the video comes so close to hitting on exactly the right truth, but then it misses it at the very end. They get it so right when they want to pay tribute to the character King T'Challa of Wakanda. And you'll see the tagline, you'll always be my king, or hashtag Wakanda forever. But the reality is, these things aren't forever. None of us are. But Chadwick was correct that we have to offer the world hope. That's where he got it right. But if you want to imitate him, do it in the right way. Hebrews chapter 6 tells us exactly what we should imitate. Verses 11 and 12. We desire each of you to show the same eagerness unto the full assurance of hope to the end, so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. True hope. True hope that you can share with the world is not seen on a Hollywood screen, but found in Jesus Christ, in the sure promises of God in Scripture, and the faith in those promises that they're true for you. Bozeman may always be remembered as the man who embodied the king of Wakanda, but it's our relationship with the one true king, Jesus Christ, that will give you and I the strength to face all of life's battles. May my Lord Jesus Christ, in faith in his sure promises for you, give you hope for whatever life may bring, even if it's the end of life, so that you can face that with full assurance, with eagerness even, with confidence, and with peace. May this grace be yours today.